Right, guys, this is Matt from Angelic Pickle. Amazon's just been. God, I'm so excited. I virtually can't wait to open this thing. I just thought I'd video it just so you could just share it with me, but I'm just honestly, I'm so excited. I didn't think that I'd actually get this today. It was caught by sheer luck. I mean, I was on Amazon for must have been like a two, two, three hours yesterday, constantly refreshing the page. As soon as the, uh, the stock went live, I managed to bag one. Um, you must know what this is. God, I can't wait to open it. Um, yeah, completely new channel. Com decided to rebrand the old one from CVG. Um, again, totally irrelevant, but it just, it was just completely abandoned. I just thought I'd come to Spikes to get back into it, do some regular uploads. As soon as I get it unboxed, start again, do some regular streaming, up doing some regular sort of gaming uploads and just have, just like have fun with it really, it's like a variety channel, so yeah. So that was uh, Angelic Pickler was born, uh, all the artwork's done by me. Again, I had lots of fun, just sort of throwing ideas around there, so it's something fun, but yeah, let's get into it. Right, I've got my trusty screwdriver, let's get unboxing this beast. God, I can't wait, so excited to see, just to see it, I mean it's been so long that I've wanted one of these. God, it's... You know what, I tried setting up the tripod. Um just not having it at all. Just can't get the views in there, so I'm just gonna have to try and sort of try and juggle it with one hand. Yeah yeah, oh wow, look at this. Right then, a screwdriver down. <sighs> wow, oh god, see what? I'm just gonna turn it round. Right then. Here we go, forward facing, right way up this time, oh my god, unbelievable, again, I love the colours on this console as well, it's such a, it's a, it's a change for just having the black for all these years, again, I think the white looks really well, oh god, I absolutely love it, the design on it. God, it's one thing seeing the pictures, I just can't wait to see it in the flesh. Right, let's get it out of the big box. Here we go. It is unboxed. Look at that. God, it's actually quite big as well. It does, like you say, people saying it's quite big, it does. It looks very big. I've actually brought my old PS4 Pro down as well for comparison, so when I do unbox it, we'll stand them side by side so you can get a feel of how they look together. But yeah, look at that, it's crazy. Again, nice little handle on top, so you can, like you say, transport it from the shops. Obviously, literally none are open at the minute, so again, most of you have got deliveries to the door. But yeah, absolutely. That's crazy. Yeah, there you go. Let's get open in it. Right, I've managed to peel the sticky label off the top, so should nice transition really into pulling it out of the box. Oh god, that's a quite a bit of weight to it, you know. Right, I'm just gonna move that to one side. Right, there we go. Is the inner box again? I'm just getting so close now to seeing it. There we go then. So, got a nice box here. I'm guessing, like I say, it contains uh, all the uh, power cables, the HDMI's, and let's have a let's have a look. Again, oh, yes. I'm actually going to I'm going to save that to the last bit, but again. Like you say, uh, quick start guide, again, guarantees there, again, keep safe, keep safe with them. This must be the plastic base that's applied, again, HDMI cable, so let's have a look at the base. Yeah. 
There you go. So apparently, that little compartment right there contains looks like uh, the screws. So that's quite a nifty little compartment. Apparently you can rotate it and then uh, his screws can be safely stored in there. So if you need to transport it, again, I think it's a really neat idea. Again, uh, power cable. And what's this? Again, there's this in there. Oh, look, this must be yeah, the uh, USB charging cable for the control pad as well. So, again, that one is a uh, new style USB. I think it's the USB C. Again, so that's quite handy because I'm off, I've only got one of these for my phone. So, if you do need to uh, use, borrow this one, they're quite handy as well. All right. There we go. Look at that. God, it looks so nice. And again, I love how the yeah, the buttons are all clear now. Again, they've lost all the colours. They've just made it sort of just a uh, again kept it nice and simple. And again, I love it. Absolutely love it. Apparently as well, if you can zoom in, but if you were, uh, if you zoom in very, very carefully, you can actually see. There you go, look. The shapes on the other side of the grip pad. That's so cool. Again, the attention to detail. That feels really nice. Really nice. Wow. Well, Analog sticks feel quite similar. Again, quite like uh, just just the right amount of resistance. But again, these back buttons, I think they've like made them slightly bigger as well. So that's really cool. Wow. There you go, guys. Well, all that's left now is to uh, get the rest of it out. Let's do it. Right, well, let's crack on with the next bit. Sorry, right, guys. I think I realised that. I'm actually breathing quite loudly as well. I think probably just shows quite how unfit I am at the minute. Oh god, there it is, look. Right. Let's see if I can one hand it. I'll put it there for a minute while I move that box out of the way. So there you go. Move the side sleeves off. Yeah, that fell off to one side then, but look at this. So many hours of enjoyment out of it. Last little bit to take off. Let's finally get rid of the last of the packaging. Move that out of the way. So, there it is. There it is. Wow. God, it looks so sleek as well. This looks actually, it's, it, it's, it's, it's big, but it doesn't feel like it, like you say, it, it just, it feels, it just feels fine actually. Yeah, I think it's going to fit quite nicely in the, in the uh, cabinet. Yeah. I love that though, as well, the PlayStation logo, though, it's sort of like slightly set back into the plastic. That's really cool. And on the back, again, you've got your uh, input for your power, HDMI, again, your uh, Ethernet port, a couple of uh, USBs. And again, there's an extra connect port there. I'm assuming that's for if you want to connect to any sort of accessories, um, cameras like, um, you know, uh, PSVR, that kind of thing. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set it up 
Let's stand it up there. Let's get the uh, PlayStation Pro. So this is a, for comparison. There you go. That's the uh, the size difference. I mean, I know the uh, PS3 wasn't it was an absolutely massive console, but I mean, if you can get you can get a good idea of uh, again that you're looking at sort of distance. Yeah, God, it's served me well all these years. I absolutely love this console. I know when they first announced the Pro, I just had to get it, so I'll get it again. I got it on launch day. So yeah. But yeah, it's time for time for a new generation. I just can't wait to get it set up. Apparently uh, the startup screen is very unique as well. It only happens the one time. So on the initial startup, so that'll be something to look forward to. That'll be quite special. So yeah. Sorry guys, I feel I realise I'm, I'm still breathing quite heavily. Um, hopefully when I'm streaming in future it doesn't sound like quite like that. So yeah, well thanks for joining me. There you go. Again, still works like a treat, so I'm just going to put it in a separate room. Um, it's definitely not going to be uh, shelled, it's still, still going to get some use. Again, even if I ended up donating it to the nephews later on down the line, but yeah. Move over, it's time for a, a new console now. And again, really lucky that I managed to bag one today. Again, the demand yesterday was absolutely ridiculous. So, so yeah, cheers guys. Again, this is Matt from uh, Angelic Pickle. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Hopefully um, get some uh, gaming done today. Hi again, guys. I just thought I'd get this final bit on the end. I managed to set it up. I plugged it all in. Um, I just want to get it. I just want you to see that initial startup again for the first time with me. Um, I've never turned it on before. This is literally the very, very first time this is getting powered up. So, yeah, let's let, let's do it. So, I think... There we go. Look. Oh, can you see it light up? There we go. Again, controls all connected in there. So I'm just, I'm just uh, stay behind here. Again, it's a bit more stable as I went before with the shaky camera. And again, I'm very, very amateur at this, so just bear with me. There you go. So that's just again showing you just to click the USB, which is again, it's all uh, all done. So all that's left is to just press the uh, PlayStation button in center. Yep, so uh, UK. And there you go, guys. I was going to set up the rest of it and um, yeah, get it all set up, put my profile on there, get the data from my uh, PlayStation 4 Pro across, um, and yeah, then you else can get stuck in really. Probably have a bite to eat first, something to like uh, get excited about afterwards, and then um, I'm going to start my first um, video. I'm going to upload. I think the uh, the game that I uh, Astro's uh, Playground, which is like pre-installed on the console, it's like a nice little tech demo to demonstrate what the console's capable of doing. I think it's about thing that really really cool to show off. So. I'll get, I'll get that connected and then I will basically, uh, I'll just record that straight from the console itself um, and then I'll just do some editing on that later on and then hopefully okay, so we'll get into some nice little mini series I thought for the first one I've got a, a series coming called uh, Retro Reboot where I'm going like, to look into the old games um, again going back 10 years, Super Meat Boy first came out then, notoriously hard game I've only played it very briefly so I thought it would be really fun to just like jump into something like that and then get that uploaded on there. Just again, so something simple where I can just like have fun with it and then interact with the community as well. I hopefully grow from there. Um, again, I've got literally, I must have all the uh, partner says I'm quite obsessed really, but I've got, I've got so many games and I think the fact that this is also backwards compatible, I can jump into any single one of them. I've got, I've 
and I can basically take, take requests if you want to see me play through a game we can do a sort of a series of that as well so yeah yeah just uh, um, Yorkshire lad really just having fun and again just to see where it goes not hoping to, for any, that you say anything massive to come out of it I just want to say something's a hobby just something to sort of focus the mind on after work and again just have fun with it and do it so so yeah cheers again guys I know uh, I meant to end it in the last video clip but that's kind of just really wanted you to experience that initial startup. So, yeah, thanks very much. I'll see you soon.